uprooted from its garden state. Bark stripped, sawed into planks. No longer fruit bearing branches whose organic sugars energize lethargic bodies, but a tree fallen. Based on a true story, and you establish the time very quickly um, through the use of uh, music, and you establish the tone very, very quickly, very eerie, very sad, very um, desperate, just just kind of waiting to die. Uh, sound mixing is great. Sound design is great. Um, you do a great job of building up the setting with the sound design, um, which could go by the wayside and we still would have understood for the most part um, where we were and what's going on. But you do, there's a lot of attention to detail there. And I, I really want to highlight that and say very, very well done. Um, a very interesting story, very sad story. Uh, I think it was acted out really well. Uh, I'm going to give kudos to the actors. Um, I think it was written very well. I think it was an interesting story. I felt enveloped in it. Um, even though it was on the sadder side, there was still a good amount of empathy in there. Um, but you really establish the tone straight on and you nail it on the head throughout the entire piece. Um, very interesting sound design, camera design, um, acting overall, just a very, very well done piece. Absolutely loved the ambiance that was created in this location. It made me really feel like this person was, you know, about to go to their death. Um, they were held in this prison and I, you know, the sound of the dripping water and the phone ringing and just, I, I loved the fifties music too. Um, just all of it really came together so well. So great job. And the performance was really great. Um, that this is based on a true story is very uh, sad, of course. Um, I really liked his makeup. I thought it was definitely like a puppet. Um, the makeup and the reference to being like a puppet as well in the, in the performance, um, the sound design, I thought was really great. Just with the, again, creating the ambiance of where this person is. The visual of being in a, you know, um, straight jacket and trying to get out and, and not overdoing it, but having it there enough to feel like you still want to get out and there's still feel there's still hope, but there really isn't any. Powerful, uh, above all, uh, a powerful performance by the main leading actor. Uh, this poem that we see, uh, it, it, it really gives you, trying, manages to give you the, the feeling that the main character is he is is feeling in that in that he's experiencing in that very moment uh, this sort of like last night before the execution uh, I think that, that there, you can feel the struggles of the main character but also you can see the inside of his mind you know why he did why he did uh, and I think overall the what really t keeps you there what really gets you on on top of the, the direction and cinematography is as i said already the performance it was absolutely brilliant with also great screenplay i must say so overall this was a very well done short and the filmmaker the filmmakers behind it managed to keep the short exciting and interesting even though it's shot in just one little location with just one guy it was really really creative with the the poem and the presentation I thought was really really kind of striking and um really attention grabbing um which just kind of made me pay more attention to the poem and the message behind it because I found the the visuals so obscure in a way just because like with the clown makeup and the street jacket and the the setting that they were in all of it was like conflicting in a way that made me really kind of like snap to attention um which I thought was really really well done because then I feel like you can get your message across better if you truly do have the audience's attention um but I also thought the delivery was really, really good. It was like really haunting and it was really measured and paced. 
This poem is so applicable to so many, so many other situations of injustice and specifically lost childhood or lost of innocence. I like the makeup, the lighting, the custom design. It just very perfectly aligned with what's being said. It's a very deep poem for a tragic story for Truscott in Canada that eventually became not an injustice, but a brave indication. And uh, it was it just very deep. Um, and I learned about this character through this poem. Um, this is a piece about, it's a poem about a wrongfully um, conviction, a wrongful conviction of rape that occurred in 1959. And the historical context that we see in the beginning has made it really clear where this where this piece takes place and what the emotional uh, precedent of the piece is. Uh, but this performer performs the poem and he encompasses the pain that must have been felt by being a man that was wrongfully accused and knowing you're innocent. I thought that that encompassment of the feeling was very relevant and clear within his performance.